All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rokah Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Um, this uh, video here, it was going into, um, I can't remember whose uh, video it was, but it was dealing with all these different um, camps and philosophies and, you know, all these different things out there. There are distractions and against the truth, okay? Got a lot of these camps out here. Though they say, yeah, yeah, how about Shimmy or Shai, or, you know, we should unite in Christ, right? Though they say all that, the doctrine that they're pushing is against you, how about Shimmy or Shai, okay? Because it's not for the truth, it's lies. You're making yourself an enemy, okay? Because when you realize, like, yo, the MOTB is what it is, and when you start looking at these other camps and their doctrine, and you ask them about the MOTB, and they saying it's sin, it's this, it's all types of uh, BS, you know, which it is a sin to take it, but they're not being complete. They're not coming with the right doctrine, the true, true doctrine, okay, 100% truth. Teach the 100% truth, Okay. When it comes time to, the, uh, you know, Jacob's trouble, all these different things, all these different, um, you know, things that are about to happen and take place. But yet, for money, for gain, you know, lucre, or whatever reason it may be, 501c3, sold out, took the bag for the government, psyops, you know what I mean? Whatever it may be, they're not pushing the truth, man. You know, this 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 is the problem, okay? And you got to push that 100% truth. The Lord didn't come with many different doctrines. He came with one doctrine. In fact, it tells you one body, okay? Let's get into that real quick. I don't know, this phone keeps turning off and turning back on, and I don't know what's going on here. Something Something's up with this phone, man. I don't know. Ephesians chapter 4 and 4. There is one body. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one, uh, one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all, Salakia, and in you all, right? So he's not going to come with many different doctrines. It's one body, one faith, one baptism, okay? It's not going to come with many different doctrines. It's going to come with one doctrine, okay? Not a multitude of things and, you know, no, it's one. That's it, okay? One doctrine. And on top of that, that doctrine has to be taught with the 100% truth, okay? Oh, you guys say you got the 100% truth. Yes. Yes. Somebody out here has to, okay? And you guys ain't preaching what the, the, the scriptures are telling you to preach. You guys are doing this according to your own will. Whatever you please to do, okay? Especially like when it comes to the MOTB. You know, you guys ain't pushing the MOTB. Some things you'll tell the people all the scriptures, yeah. You're Israelite, you know. Don't eat pork, all these certain things you'll, you'll tell them. But when it comes down to the real things that we got to look out for as well like prophecy it's hit and miss jacob's trouble hit and miss so anyways second john chapter one and verse nine whosoever transgresseth and abideth not 
in the doctrine, does it say doctrines of Hamashiach have not have not God, he that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he have both the Father and the Son. And it's another cut to you people out there that Yahweh Shai is the Father, you know. It says right there, have both the Father and the Son. Now going back into this, <laughs> he that abideth in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he that abideth in the doctrine, it doesn't say many different doctrines, the doctrine, one body, one spirit, one baptism, okay? Verse 10, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. Neither bid him God's speed, for he that biddeth, biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Right. And, you know, these individuals out here, like it says, if there come one unto you, right, and he have not this doctrine, does it say doctrines? No, it says if he doesn't have this doctrine, if he's coming with another, some other philosophy. No, 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 get out of here, man. I ain't going to bid you no Godspeed. I ain't going to bid you no farewell because I ain't going to be partakers with your shit. I gave you admonishment, correction, and you still on your path with that bullshit. So I'm not cheering you up. I'm not bigging you up. I'm telling you what the right way is, the true doctrine, okay? And that's right, you're supposed to set them in order, man. Give them correction. The scriptures say, rebuke them sharply. Titus chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 9. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. For it, for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. Do not be carried away with what? Diverse and strange doctrines, man. There's only one doctrine. And if you're going with these other camps and, you know, they're not telling you what, what the MOTB is, they got strace, strange and diverse doctrines, okay? So, that's all you have to really check with these camps, man. Just ask them about the MOTB. See what their stance is with the MOTB. And other things besides that. But, you know, because a lot of these camps out here, well, some of these camps saying that Edomites can make it, you know, diverse doctrines, man. Strange diverse doctrines. <laughs> Ephesians 4 diverse and strange doctrines but Ephesians 4 and 14 that we henceforth be that we that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive, right? They lie in wait to deceive men. Okay. A lot of these guys out here, they don't they don't care. They're all here for the money. And they're moving with deception, moving with greed. Okay. But be no more children tossed to and fro. Carried about with every wind of doctrine. Flat earth. You know, that's another thing. Oh, you could, you could have sex on the Sabbath. You could have sex with your wife in, in, in her bum. You know what I mean? These are all diverse. These are all strange doctrines. Okay? Because it's not found in the scriptures that you could do those things. Actually, the scriptures speak about against doing those things. Okay? So once we said... I read the scriptures and ask them these questions and you'll see who has the 100% truth, okay? 
these camps don't have the the hundred percent truth out there. There's only one camp that has the hundred percent truth. Okay. First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy chapter four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Right. So they're going to make men to err and fall away with these type of doctrines that they got. Okay. So Iraq also tells you that you'll fall by his folly. And with these doctrines right here, for he will do according to his own will, and thou sh shall perish with him through his folly. Right. So Iraq 8 and uh, 15. That that's the point I want to get there, but um, yeah, these guys over here they 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 spitting these doctrines over here, and here it is these men following them, following them, really believing in the crap that they're hearing, and enjoying and having pleasure in the things that they're doing that their, you know, teacher has told them that they can do, right? And a lot of them over here want to have mirth. Scriptures clearly speak on that. Now, we don't sit at home, throw ashes on our head, and rock back and forth like a mental case, going, oh, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. Sackcloth, let me rip my new clothes, you know? We don't do that. But we have the mindset in that, hey, we're in a place that's filthy. We're in a place that's doomed for destruction. We're not all here trying to gather up. We're out here trying to gather up the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the truth. You can't make yourself part of the elect, but hey, like I said, it's written in the scriptures that 144 shall be saved. And they're going to have the correct doctrine. And they're going to be walking in order. Not doing whatever the hell by your will, you know, which will cause other men to fall and fail because of all the wickedness that you're producing and teaching to these people. Instead of teaching them the truth, doing by your will because you want a new fancy yacht, car, or you want to be loitered by men. However, whatever it is, you're an FBI agent, an agent, however we say it, you know. So going back into this, this is this is what's happening in the world right now, man. Okay, we in the latter times. First Timothy chapter four and sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, not the doctrines, the right, the 100% truth, that doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Right, because in Romans it tells you that our words went into all the ends of the world, right? And we'll get that at the end. So continuing this doctrine, you know, these guys out here with their doctrine, you can have sex on the Sabbath, you can, you know, do whatever you want, Edomites can make it, diverse and strange doctrines, man, and you continue in that, you shall be destroyed, okay, because that's not 100% truth, okay, so lucky you got preached 100% truth, all right, and that's not a part of 100% truth. So all these people are being led away, okay? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Spirits that are on these men that are made to make them go off, okay? Let's go on another one. Yup. And like I said back down here, you know what? Let me keep that up. We'll jump over here. First John. Uh, Slakia. John chapter 4 and 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. What does it tell you about having faith? Faith is something that pleases the Most High. Okay? And a part of that, you got to be spiritual. Okay? You got to be spiritual about that. A lot of things that happen out here, these guys like to get carnal. But if you're looking in a spiritual aspect, spiritual eye... What have, you, what have you been learning this whole time, man? Are you supposed to be growing in the spirit? 
And when things like that happen to you, you got to remain spiritual. You can't remain carnal. You can't be carnal. Okay? And if you are carnal, you're tossing everything out the door that you have been learning. You have to have faith that he's going to do. And he's going to do what he said he's going to do. Okay? And to do that, you got to be spiritual, man. For God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah, and you got to have that 100% truth. Not half truth, sort of the truth, maybe some. No, nah, man. It just doesn't fit, okay? Don't fit right. So going back to uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the, the doctrine Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. Now, when you go into uh, you know what? There's another one too. We could get Revelation one and three. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. That's right, because you're gonna have those who are listening and following along and doing what's commanded of them to do. Romans chapter 10 and verse uh, 17. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily. Their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. And right, did we not tell you about the MOTB? Did we not tell you what, you know what it is and what's going to happen in these times? Did we not give you prophecy? What does it say? But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. Yeah, via the internet. And the brothers out there on the highways and byways, right? Us being out on those highways and byways, doing the videos, you know, doing those videos up uploads, right? The word was spread. Even sometimes you may have a conversation with somebody, you know, and even by that, the word is still spread, okay? So, yeah, they heard, they knew. They knew they were doing wrong when they were teaching those diverse doctrines, when they weren't teaching the truth, okay? They made themselves an enemy, man, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by doing those things which are not convenient, man, which the Lord said, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not interested in those things. Romans chapter 1, right? 28, all the way down to the end. We're already on to death. But here it is, they're pushing us, you know, for filthy lucre, money, all that. Not pushing 100% truth, you know? Why make yourself an enemy, man? Sold out for the bag, uh, FBI agent, an agent. You know, whatever it may be, your your butt hurts, so you wanna, you got kicked out of a camp, so now all of a sudden you wanna make up a new doctrine. You know, we in the new covenant, all that type of bullshit. You know, diverse doctrines, man, diverse, strange doctrines. All right, and with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rukah Double honor to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide, and a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified, Lord willing, to the next time. Wah abad babal shalom.